Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my very first video that I am excited to make. I recently purchased uh, six of the Tarte lip paint. They're quick dry. Um, I was just at the local Sephora and I, the person had recommended the, these to me. And so I tried them on and I realized that they dried so fast. They're so different from Tarte's original uh, formula that I just love them. I love Kat Von D and you know how they dry like super matte and they look great all day. Um, these are better <laughs> and that's amazing. Um, I originally bought six. I lost one somewhere. I wore it yesterday. Can't find it. So I swatched the five that I have left for you today. If I ever find it, this is the shade killing it. I will make another video about that. Um, so I've already actually filmed all of the swatching for these and my lips are in pain <laughs> because it takes a lot of makeup remover to get these off and a lot of scrubbing. So it is not comfortable to do, go through five lip shades in one night and this is actually the sixth because I did not like the shade that I was wearing last so I wanted to film it with um I'm currently wearing Delish so I have the shades cheerleader which is this red shade it is darker than this camera is actually picking it up as so don't think that it's this really bright red it's more like um it's a lot like Nosferatu, I guess, from Kat Von D. And then there is Rosé, which is a really nice nude. And Acid Wash, which is a super dark, um, kind of red-toned, kind of purple um, lip stain. I'll show you that one. And Fly, this one. And this last one is Delicious, which is the one I'm currently wearing. Now, I have a photo of me wearing um, Killing It Last Night. Let me see if I can find that for you. Here is the photo of me and my friend and that is showing up really, really bad. Sorry about that. And if I can zoom, it froze. Really bad picture quality, but you can see, kind of see the color there. Um, these are very different from the formulas from the original tart like if you this is uh, one of the original ones and you can see with these ones they have these like gold bands on them um let's see this is namaste which is a nude from tart so i'm just gonna put that right there i already have swatches of the other ones on the back of my hands so if you look at these which have already dried you can literally rub through them i'm rubbing as hard as i can and it's not coming off. I can scratch through them. It's not coming off. This one is a lot different. It's creamier and it also has that like medicinal scent that I really love from Tarte. Um, but yeah, these will blend out whereas these do not. Um, I literally swatched every single color from the Sephora and I went around for an entire day with my arm filled with <laughs> swatches and people from my job were looking at me like I was weird and they were asking me what it was um, but yeah literally went 10 hours would not move on the same day I wore rosé I wore rosé for a full 12 hours and because it is a more nude shade I did not see any of it coming off however I know if I wear a darker shade I typically have it come off right here throughout the day just because that's where my lips kind of touch like that um, but I didn't have to reapply once and I got all the way home looking exactly the same as how I left so that was impressive um, anyway so let's go through the swatches for you the shade is called rosé notice the, the uh, Jeffree Star highlighter mirror there. I really like his highlighters, um, but I really like to use them for mirrors more than I actually like to use them. Um, so you'll see me use that throughout this video. This is a fairly good nude shades for those Wonder Breads like, like me out there. Um, and it's nice to do with a more dramatic eye just because it pulls the attention kind of away from um, the lips, but more focuses on the eyes.
This shade is called Delish. It's a little bit darker than a nude, but it's still, I would still consider it a nude shade, but it's just really pretty for me. This shade is called Fly. It is way bolder than I'm used to doing, but I went ahead and got it just to kind of swatch, just to see um, how it would look on me. Um, I'm a little bit nervous to try it on here. Um, and you'll see that in the uh, camera, it actually is not picking up the color as well as I wish it would. It's, it's a little bit darker than the camera is picking it up, so it's not that vibrant uh, pink purple shade. Um, so if you do intend to buy this color, just make sure that you do swatch it in the store because it does not look exactly like this. The shade is called Cheerleader. It also shows up a little bit brighter than it is supposed to be. Um, it's it's a, it's a, expected to be like more of a truer red. Um, the, the color is kind of streaky, so you do have to put on two coats and you'll see it go from this like pinky color to a more red color once, on, once I put the second coat on. See how it kind of darkens up and turns more of a red? I'm also noticing for these uh, quick dry formulas, they dry on the brush quicker than I would expect most liquid lips to do. So I have to double dip just to finish the lip color, which you'll see on the next one as well, um, just because it dries so quickly on the brush. The shade is called Acid Wash. It is the darkest of the four, five, six, six that I had gotten. Um, it looks a little bit black, I promise you it's not. It's more like a really dark burgundy. And it's not as, um, it's still streaky here, as you can see a little bit, um, but I ended up having to put two coats on just to get a more opaque finish. All of these are matte and quick drying and do not transfer onto cups or onto uh, your boyfriend's lips or something like that. It is really hard to get this off. I went ahead and filmed um, taking off this darkest color just so you can see. Um, this is the last color <laughs> that I had to remove and by now my lips were much in pain sorry I just dropped some stuff um, but yeah you can see that it took a while So even if you have other lip colors with like similar to these shades, 
it is totally worth it to go out and buy another one from this um, tart lip paint, this brand new tart lip paint, because it is such a different formula and it's not drying on the lips that you can wear it all day without it being um, crazy dry like I would with Kat Von D. And trust me, I am a huge fan of Kat Von D. This is just <laughs> some of what I own from her. Um, but I am getting into Tarte a lot. Um, on my channel, I'm not sure what direction it will be going, but um, I will be reviewing makeup products, maybe some skincare products. And if you have anything that you would like me to review or you know try out for you and tell you uh, just my take on it, I will be happy to do so if you just want to drop a comment. Uh, 